okay now i will start the application with the debugger attached and if you see in the breakpoints i don't have any breakpoints there are no breakpoints here and debugger is attached and i'm clicking break on code if you see we are directly coming to this uh, debugger dot break and uh, without the breakpoint uh, uh, the execution holds up this line from here you can actually start the debugging step over so if you see Okay. So this is how you can dynamically break into the code. Uh, here the key call is a debugger dot uh, break. Um, in most of the uh, application, uh, we may need to break into the code dynamically like this. Say for example, you have a um, uh, big enterprise application and. Uh, um, it's not possible to put a breakpoint during the one of the application startup routine. So in that case, you can write a code temporarily uh, to debug like this. I mean, to break like this. Um, in most of the case, we launch the application, uh, and after the startup routines are completed, uh, the process uh, um, running in the background then we come to the debug break and attach to the process so if we want to put a breakpoint in the application startup routine itself and in the application startup routine uh, you cannot go for uh, attach to process so because the process is not yet launched so in that case we can make use of this uh, debugger dot break and uh, start debugging the application startup routines Okay, thanks for watching.